Hey guys, Justin Bryant here from selfmadesuccess.com. In this video, I'm going to show you eight part-time work-from-home jobs with very flexible hours. So what these jobs are, they are on websites and they allow you to make your own hours. So therefore, they're a lot more flexible. They're not going to have a lot of benefits and stuff because they're part-time, but you probably knew that coming in. So the first type of job that I want to recommend for this is transcription work, which basically means you turn audio into text. Now you might be working with YouTube videos, you might be working with interviews, you might be working with podcast episodes. There's all kinds of different ways to listen to audio these days, um, but you're basically turning it into text. There are no good uh, pieces of software right now that allow you to do this with proper grammar, proper capitalization, um, you know, paragraphs and stuff like that yet. Believe me, I've tried a lot of them. So we have websites like transcribeme.com that allow you to sign up, take a test that basically determines whether you are qualified to do this type of work. The only qualifications they really need are a decent word per minute typing speed and good grammar. Um, and I'm going to recommend a few things for that here in a second. But you can go to transcribeme.com and then click join as transcriptionist. And then you'll end up on this page where you can join their team. And then, of course, you can register for a new account and then you take the test you want to have a Skype and a phone number as well for this. So just keep that in mind, transcribeme.com, and you can get paid pretty well and make your own hours for doing this. So you can make about $20 per audio hour, which is pretty good um, in a lot of areas. So another one that you might look at if you want more options is Scribby or Scribe, however you want to say it. You can go to Scribby.com and it is all about audio transcription. That's what they specialize in. You can see their pricing. You can see that um, you know they're looking for people who can keep their accuracy up, have a good word per minute typing speed. Uh, you know These companies have a reputation to maintain. You can sign up as a transcriber down at the bottom here in the footer of the page. And then you can apply here. Five to twenty dollars per audio hour pay rate, US dollars. It's a home based job. Work at your convenience. And um, these types of jobs you get paid via PayPal in many cases so you're gonna to have to do your own taxes and stuff like that but it PayPal makes that very easy to do um, but you just work you know kind of in your spare time when you can as far as a word per minute test I recommend typingtest.com or another related one that you maybe find on Google this is one of the more popular ones, but it'll help you figure out how fast you can type. And they also have a trainer available for free that allows you to help you um, type faster and increase your potential for typing faster so that you do it with the proper technique. You can take a lot of different uh, timed tests and then you can do um, you know, a lot of different subjects in a lot of different languages. So that'll help you figure this out. A lot of times they'll want like 50 or 60 words per minute typing speed. Um, just depends on the company. You'll find that out for the test itself. Next is translation. This is something that if you are multilingual can make you some good money on the side. A couple of websites that hire contractors, kind of like how the transcription sites do it, where you could work your own hours and just kind of log in and do what's available that day when you want. Um, one of them is rev.com, which is also a transcription site as well if you want to do their transcription work. But they do captions and translation as well. So not all translation um, sites can do 
you know, slang and different, uh, you know, phrases and words that might be somewhat common between native speakers. So they still have plenty of websites where they hire translators. Um, you would go to the about page, then go to freelancers on Rev, and then you would go to the translator section and click apply now. And then you can go through the form here and you know they'll want to verify that you are um, pretty good in the area you're going to do this in but uh, they pay you via PayPal and that is required but it's a very easy way to um, make some extra money on the side another one is translate.com and as you probably guess they get quite a bit of traffic um, and they have a kind of digital version of a translator here but it doesn't cover everything so they still hire translators as well so you can go down to the bottom where it says become a translator or you can go to the sign in section either way but if you click become a translator um, you can click become a paid translator and go through that process there if you are multilingual so you verify it, you go through there, and then you can uh, just kind of do jobs as they're available on your own time. Next is data entry. So there's a couple sites I want to recommend as far as doing data entry work, which is typically some of the easiest work you can do online. Plenty of part-time jobs available um, that just cannot be automated yet. So one site is microworkers.com. You can go to that website. By the way, I'll have all the links in the show notes for you, so don't worry about memorizing them all right now. But you do a lot of different things, um, data entry, working with spreadsheets, categorization. They even have transcription as well. It's a pretty popular thing. Image annotation. So it's kind of a micro-tasking slash data entry type of website basically meaning you're doing a lot of very easy jobs that don't require a lot of uh, background experience and getting paid to do them so you can go to micro workers you can click register to sign up as a worker and then just kind of fill out this stuff another one is quickworker.com so this is very similar to micro workers you do web research, you do text, you might work with some spreadsheets and stuff like that. Just typical data entry, microtasking type of jobs. To sign up as a microtasker, you need to make sure you're on the right country. They have Germany and United States of America available right now. And then you click for click worker. Then you end up on this page where you can sign up as a click worker by clicking that button right there. And then going through the process of country of residence, you know, and you can go through the FAQ and all that stuff and just sign up right there. All right. So, by the way, for this type of stuff and uh, even a few other jobs, I recommend getting Grammarly. This will help you with any kind of, like, you know, writing type stuff or editing or um, transcription work translation work it can really help a lot with your grammar so if you have um, you know if you want to help your grammar for free I would recommend something like Grammarly which is a free plugin you can get next is writing so that kind of applies to that too um, Grammarly does but there's a couple of sites that hire people to write kind of on their own time without you having to necessarily have to do it by the job where you have to, you know, go to a freelancing site. I thought about including those, but I think it's easier to do like a contracting site where you can just kind of log on um, with your free account and do whatever work is available that day. Hirewriters.com is one of the places where you can do that. So you can um, get paid to write and you end up on a page like this you put your first name email address submit and you can get paid to write um, different types of things you know you might do blog posts you might do parts of a book you might do some ghost writing type stuff there's a lot of things that you could do uh, another one is 
iWriter.com. You can go there and register as a writer, which is what this page is right here. And of course, I'll have a link directly to this for you. You put your first and last name, username, password, um, and they guarantee payouts every single week or at pay schedule you select. You work from home, obviously. You can have long-term clients as much as $40 plus for a simple 500-word article. Um, so that's pretty good. 500 words for 40 bucks is pretty decent, especially if you aren't a super well-known writer yet. Um, so those two websites are great if you're good at writing. Next is testing. And by testing, I do not mean like taking written or multiple choice tests. I mean testing like prototypes and updates for websites and apps. So you go online to a site like usertesting.com and you can go to the testers section where you can sign up as a tester. So you get $10 via PayPal for every 20 minute test that you do on websites and apps. And so you basically can make $30 per hour doing user testing. So you put in your email address, sign up, go through the process of creating an account just like any other website. And then you can start trying out these different apps and websites where there are you know, millions of them popping up all the time. Another one is user zoom. They're kind of a direct competitor of user testing, but it's another way for you to test, do surveys um, and stuff like that to help them better their apps, websites, updates, etc. You can go to user zoom. You can join their panel up here, go through that process, make sure you're on the right, um, country and everything as well and then click join today so also there is online evaluation so basically what you're doing with the valuation is you are helping search engines you're helping social media stuff like that you're helping them um, improve by helping with categorizing ads your feed search results and stuff like that so it's basically helping them make sure that their website and their search engines are working as they are intended to so you go to a site like appin.com you can go here and then sign up looking for jobs you can click find flexible jobs you'll end up on a page like this then it will find them automatically near you social media evaluator type stuff is what you're looking for where basically you can go through and go on social media, go on different sites, um, work about 20 hours per week or so, have your choice of what days and what hours you work. And um, basically you make sure that the ads are relevant. You make sure that search results are relevant. You make sure that the experience is good on these sites and stuff like that. Leap Force is another one you can go to leapforceathome.com to check them out you would want to become an independent agent um, so you need to go through and pick your main language and where you are located they have a lot of different countries a lot of different languages you can go and see what they have available and it will automatically load that and then they will show you their current opportunities independent agents um, you know, just do kind of a, a various online jobs and stuff like that. And one of them might be uh, web research or evaluation of search engines and stuff like that, kind of like Appin. Next is customer service, which is a big industry as far as working from home right now. A lot of them are kind of focused on customer service as far as offering work from home jobs i'm sure it'll expand even more out into different industries as well like it's obviously going towards writing and data entry and stuff but customer service is a place where you will never run out of job opportunities to work from home so a couple websites where you can work on your own time without actually having to be technically employed um, where you can just kind of instead work when you want 
liveops.com allows you to do that you would basically go to the website and then click become an agent and then it will allow you to apply to work from home um, before you apply you want to read through this you can meet real live ops agents the tech requirements FAQ all that stuff is listed here look at the different skills and experience that they are looking for um, you know basically you're doing call center type work so you want to have a good headset for this type of stuff like I said they have the tech requirements here for you everything you need is on here corded telephone a corded headset compatible with this phone landline with the telephone service um, computer with a wired connection and obviously you can write this stuff off because it's a work expense but you can go to amazon.com and find a good customer support headset that wired that it can be wired straight into your connection for like 20 bucks so you can go through here type in like customer support headset or I'll have a link in the video notes for you as well but they're all around 20 bucks or so wired it is a more secure connection it's more um, consistent you don't have to worry about dropping calls and stuff as much uh, you want to have something with you know good noise cancelization probably in case there are distractions if you have kids or something and a good microphone those are the pretty much the three things you want so just keep that in mind get something like that look at their tech requirements before you apply make sure that's not a problem next is arise this is another one where you can go on here and become a customer support agent where you get to work independently from home without actually having to have you know super strict hours and stuff like that so you can kind of log in they have a lot of people who have uh, agent accounts on here and then you can work as needed you'll need about the same type of tech requirements as um, the other one but as far as agent registration you just go to arise.com click agent registration it's a green button in the middle and then you can go through click your uh, country click next and go through the process so that's it for this video that's it for these types of part-time jobs in places where you can actually work very flexibly for your hours if you want to keep your full-time gig as well so if you thought this was helpful please like and subscribe so I can create more videos like this for you also if you want to let me know what you thought about the video or suggest something I cover in the future let me know in the comments I'd love to hear from you and get your feedback also if you want the links to these different sites and the products that I mentioned could help you I'll have all of that on the show notes page at selfmadesuccess.com. I'll have a link in the video description to that for you as well. So if you thought this video was helpful, um, I'm glad to hear it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.